We are now telling you guys all about a chili cook-off happening in November, benefiting Foster the Love. We have Executive Director Heather Milan joining us now. Heather, glad to have you back. Great to be back. Love being here. Remind us all about Foster the Love uh, and why we should go out and support you guys at not only the upcoming golf tournament, but also the, this chili cook-off, which we're discussing today. Right, we have a busy season you coming do, up. You do, you do. Um, so Foster Love is a local organization. We do support and resources for children in foster care. Um, we have a clothing closet. They can come and shop it for free. We have mattresses to keep sibling groups together. And we do events all throughout the year that are free for the kids where we rent out places that they can just come and hang out and spend some time together. And that's wonderful. Do you guys usually have a pretty good turnout for, for these events? We do. We usually have about 150 kids oh, wow. and families there. Um, our last one was at Elevation Station. We rented mm -hmm. out the place and just had a really good time where they can be together with families who are kind of doing the same things. Right, and that's what I was going to ask next is, is that sort of a, a bonding time for them to, you know, interact with, with other kids and families who are in their similar situation? Right, it's same life experiences. Mm -hmm. So they get to share those experiences with, yeah. with each other. And the parents, the caregivers who have them, are able to sit and talk among each other while the children play in a safe area mm -hmm. and just kind of talk about their situations mm -hmm. and kind of get some support from each other through that. And you guys are a nonprofit organization, so that is where we as a community come in to help you guys continue to put on uh, these events and keep that closet open for the kids. So this upcoming chili cook-off, tell us about it. So we are fully community funded, and so we are local. And this chili cook-off is one of our big events through the year. Mm -hmm. um, this year we are adding a cornhole tournament. So we have about 10 chili cook-off teams already. We would love some more. Mm -hmm. And then the cornhole tournament is added. We have backyard and amateur teams that can come out and um, compete against each other. It's just a family day, mm -hmm. so admission is free. Uh, the tickets for tasting the chili are $10. But the family can just come out, listen to music, watch the, um, the teams compete, mm -hmm. watch the cornhole tournament, and just have a day together. Yeah, and so we have, like you said, 10 teams competing in that chili cook-off, but we definitely want to get more because that registration fee also is what, what helps you guys Absolutely, well. the registration fee, and also the more teams that we have come out, the more people yeah. that we come out have come out. And one of this, the big parts of this fundraiser are awareness. Mm -hmm. And so more people that we have, the more aware they are of how we can support and help children in foster care. And that is fostertheloveLA.com or .org? .org. .org. FosterTheLoveLA.org, yes And that is where we can get all the information on, again, this chili cook-off that's going to be in November. And then soon we're going to have you back to talk about the golf tournament because yes. that's coming up as well. Absolutely. We can't wait for that one. Also, uh, like you said, busy season for Foster the Love, but some great opportunities for you guys to help them out so they can continue doing great things for those foster families here in Acadiana. Uh, so you guys visit fostertheloveLA.org to learn more about these upcoming events.